is fibromyalgia hereditary? That's what uh, we'll be discussing in this video. So I'll basically give you a little bit of information about fibromyalgia, but then I'll also, towards the end of the video, explain um, the genetic components and whether it is hereditary or not. So hope you enjoy it. So please note that this presentation is not intended to provide individual patient advice, but rather it's a way of providing education about fibromyalgia. And if you think you have a condition that is causing you chronic pain, please talk to your doctor to get a proper diagnosis and treatment plan. So <clears throat> what causes fibromyalgia? So the cause is unclear and currently unknown, but it does seem to be multifactorial. There is a lot of research going on. And at the moment, the widespread opinion seems to be that there is a disorder of central processing with neurotransmitter or neuroendocrine dysregulation. So quite a mouthful, basically. What it means is the way that your brain and your spinal cord and your nerves sense and feel pain is a little bit out of balance, uh, leading to basically abnormal pain messages. Um, there is also a lot of uh, new evidence coming out about chemical imbalances, specifically in the brain and the spinal cord. And um, it is a, an ongoing area of research. When we look at those causes, there is often a triggering stressful event Think things like uh, a severe illness, a big injury, a surgery, a big emotional trauma, grief, a breakup, for example, uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome, and then possibly things like giving birth or having big infections or toxic exposures all lead to a little bit of an overload of your stress uh, hormones and stress system, uh, also known as the HPA axis. Um, which stands for hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. So the picture on the right here, you can see uh, the system. And this system basically is one of the ways that your body regulates how you handle stress and how you handle and balance out your stress hormones. And that seems to be under-functioning in a lot of people with, a, with this condition. And that leads to an altered stress response. Also, um, this results in a change in the way the body talks with the spinal cord and brain. And uh, these changes, you know, basically lead to this central pain state or central pain amplification disorder. Is, it's also been called before. And yeah, it's been described as the, the volume of pain sensation in the brain is turned up too high. So it's just a little bit about uh, fibromyalgia. It is a well-defined syndrome. Uh, there is evidence of uh, brain and nervous central nervous system dysfunction uh, and neurotransmitter dysfunction. There is some research coming out about hormonal dysfunction, specifically growth hormone, um, immune dysfunction, meaning the, the way your body handles uh, and balances our inflammation. And Princess, uh, my dog agrees with that one. And then um, gut brain axis dysfunction is another theory. Uh, and that basically comes down to the way that your, uh, your gut is functioning can also affect neurotransmitters. And it's been theorized that that uh, could play a role in the condition. So is fibromyalgia hereditary? So there is definitely a genetic component and it does not seem to be passed directly from parent to child, um, but it may cluster in families. The odds of developing fibromyalgia are several times higher in the immediate families of people with fibromyalgia than in families where no one has fibromyalgia. So there does seem to be this, uh, this genetic link, but it's not very clearly or very strongly defined. Um, so there are certain genes that play a role in your nervous system's response to pain. Um, these can be associated with your neurotransmitters, which affect things like anxiety, could be uh, related to depression. 
um, which could be why certain antidepressant medications can help reduce some of the symptoms of fibromyalgia. Um, and that comes from studies of the DNA and of uh, family from family members uh, of people with fibromyalgia and other chronic pain syndromes. Um, and these genes, um, yeah, will basically affect the way that your brain works. So in summary, fibromyalgia is not seen as a genetic disease um, and it's not directly correlated with uh, hereditary conditions, but it does have, it is a multi factorial condition. It does have a lot of causes and risk factors. And um, definitely genetics factors are considered one of the risk factors in developing the disease, but it's, it's not hereditary. So I hope that answers your question. And um, yeah, I do have other very videos in the series. Uh, uh, look out for those. I do a 10 part, uh, fibromyalgia mini course, basically linking these videos together and giving you a little bit more information about it. So if you look for, uh, there should be a link in the description of this video or in the comments. Uh, if you're interested, it, it is free and uh, you're welcome to sign up for that. So um, yeah, otherwise, uh, please leave comments uh, or likes. And if you enjoy it, you feel welcome to, to subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, uh, until the next video.